Welcome and thank you for joining in to today's Positive Forward Motion. This is your host, Denise Scattergood. Each week I discuss a topic that is designed to help you get more of what you do want and less of what you don't want, both personally and professionally. My goal is to add value to others by sharing a topic in eight minutes or less, topics that will empower, motivate, and inspire you to have more happiness and success. Today's topic is driven. So what drives you? Have you ever wondered why some people seem to be so driven that they always find a way to make things happen no matter what? And others may seem super excited to get started. And when they do, you see their enthusiasm and conviction. And then nonetheless, their motivation quickly fades and they stop. Oftentimes, a motivated, excited person who does not accomplish what they set after is because they might be missing what we call their drive. And really, that's not the case at all because they do have drive. It just may be that they're letting the wrong things drive them. And for some of you out there listening, you may say, well, Denise, you have no idea what a hard life I had growing up, or you don't understand the obstacles I've had to endure, or I'm not smart enough, or I'm not this, or I'm not that, or I can't this and I can't that. And if you want to continue to let a not so great past define your future, then I say you're driven. You're just allowing past difficulties drive you in the wrong direction. So let me explain what I'm getting at here. We're all driven by something, whether it be fear of failure, perhaps you're driven by what others think, or maybe you're driven by the negative people you surround yourself with. Whatever it is, it's time to recognize this and change direction because I know you can. I know you can. You can do whatever you set out to accomplish. And if you have a personal or a professional goal, then you need to allow your passion to drive you to improve, not impede your life. So whether it's a new career, a healthier lifestyle, improved finances, better relationships, or owning your own business, you need to be driven. And today I'm going to help you spell out driven, D-R-I-V-E-N, and share with you how each letter in the word has a meaning that will help you stay on course and drive towards your goals. Let's start with D. D equals determined discipline. In order to accomplish anything worthwhile, you must be willing to discipline yourself. So remember to say no to the things that steer you away from your goal and yes to the things that get you closer to your goal. R stands for regrets. You can use regret to pull yourself down or lift yourself up. It really depends because if you want to start something and then never finish it, let's say. Let's say you have a regret because you've started something in the past and then you never finished, right? Well, I suggest you use this regret as your reminder and your personal power to keep on moving forward. And I'm going to give you another R in Driven, and that's repetition. So don't repeat the same regrets, but you do need to repeat things again and again and again to be driven and succeed. You don't try once and then it didn't work and you give up. That's not going to get you where you need to go. You need to keep trying repeatedly day after day after day. Think of it this way. A great basketball player doesn't get there because he tried once and then stopped, right? It's the repetition that gets you there, but the positive repetition. I stands for imperfection. That's right. Nothing is perfect. So recognize and embrace your flaws. We all have them. Keep your sense of humor and just keep on going. V equals validation. Ask yourself, why are you doing what you set out to do? If you're doing it to get the validation of others, then perhaps you need to reevaluate your goal. The only one you should be out to impress is yourself. Be your own best cheerleader and don't wait for others to validate your choices. E equals energy. This means digging deep and doing what needs to be done in spite of not feeling like you want to do it. Driven people do it anyway, whether they feel like it or not. N equals navigate. On your road to success, you need to stop, readjust, and navigate through the wins and the losses because the road to success is not easy to navigate. But with hard work, drive, and passion, it is possible to achieve whatever it is you're looking to do. So if you are feeling uneasy or stuck, then I suggest you put your life into gear. Get started. First gear is a great place to start. It's not always going to be easy, but I can promise you it's going to be worth it. 
And you know why? Because you're worth it. Now get out there and drive into the direction of your dreams. Thank you for supporting Positive Forward Motion. And don't forget to tune in every Wednesday for a brand new episode that will empower, motivate, and inspire you to be your best both personally and professionally. And as always, you can find a free PDF worksheet of my action steps under each podcast episode on my website, denisecattergood.com. And if you'd like to stay in the know of all things Positive Forward Motion, like workshops and special events, be sure to connect with me on Instagram and Facebook at Denise Scattergood. You can find me on Twitter at Alert Trainers. You can also text the word positive to 3131. 31 and you'll be opted in for updates and daily doses of positivity. If you enjoyed this episode, please review and share to help spread our message of positivity. And remember, no matter how small your step is, as long as you take it in the right direction, that's what I call positive forward motion.